Hi, so can you tell us your name, please? Uh, Malin Della Zulu. Thank you. And can you just speak to us about the art that's on the wall here? All right, so um, the name of my company, as you want to say, or my business is Zulu Soul. Um, when I do art, and when I paint art, it's not just art for art's sake. It's basically art for the soul. It's a healing mechanism. It's something that when you have it in your home, it gives you a sense of calmness, uh, relaxation, healing, whatever you want to say. But it, it, whenever someone buys one of my pieces, I say it connects to your spirit. Mm -hmm. And so it's meant for you. So that's why it's called Zulu Soul. Um, I like to do paintings of African people. Mm -hmm. Not to say I can't paint anything else because I can. Because I get special requests for whatever it may be. However, that's what moves me. That's what I enjoy painting is African people in the diaspora, wherever they may be, not just in Africa, but Brazil, Europe, uh, Asia, it doesn't matter where. Um, some of the pieces, uh, they actually, I may see someone and I see something in them and I decide I want to paint something about them. So, for instance, this piece here. This one here? Uh huh. It's called a Kinky Reggae. Kinky Reggae. Can we walk over here? Yeah. So, Kinky Reggae basically talks about how, you know, you have a lot of young black girls growing up hating their hair. They don't like their hair. They think their hair is bad hair. It's not the good hair. Mm -hmm. So, I did this piece speaking to that, and it's, it's talking about, you know, basically, it's nothing wrong with your hair, you're a beautiful black child, you know, and it's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. So, that's what this piece talks about, her doing her own hair, and it's called kinky reggae, because, you know, reggae being something that's happy, upbeat, you know, relaxed, and then the kinky part, of course, you know, dealing with the hair. Yeah. We all know African people, how the hair is. However, mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with it. The hair is beautiful, just like anything else. So that's why I named this piece Kinky Reggae, speaking to all those young girls out there who, you know, may have a, a complex about their hair. Maybe self-conscious. Yeah, oh, that's exactly. Excellent. Um, this piece over here. This one? Uh-huh. This is called Otutu. Otutu. So. And what does Otutu mean? Otutu is basically, it's a, it's a, it's a dance. It's a dance done by a priest in West Africa. Okay. So it's specifically dealing with a, Adati Kofi. So, as you look closely at this piece, they're playing the Antum Pun drums. Mm -hmm. All right. So, I wanted this one to really speak to rhythm. All right. So, for folks who see this, sometimes they look at it and like they can't tell exactly what it is, but you got to stand back and really look at it. But, you mm -hmm. know, it speaks to rhythm. It speaks to rhythm and the rhythm that we have within our souls. So, yeah. that's what this piece is speaking I know about. when I see this, I, the drum is highlighted to me. Mm -hmm. It seems like the top yeah. here. Mm -hmm. So this piece is called Ia, all right, and as you were saying earlier, Ia Lochi, which is the Yoruba priest for the women, mm -hmm. so it's not Babalao for the man. Right. So this is the Yoruba, Yoruba, Yoruba priest, a woman Yoruba priest. Um, I saw this picture um, basically looking through a magazine, and when looking at the picture, it really st struck me, the history behind just her face, her eyes, just her clothing. You know, she is smoking a cigar, not just to be, you know, smoking a, a cigar, but for spiritual reasons. So, mm -hmm. and again, like I say, Zulu soul, it's something of a healing piece. So that's why I chose to do that piece and it's called Ia. Yes, it's breathtaking actually. Thank you. Wow. And, then, and uh, of course we know Bob Marley yeah, here. Yeah, we know Bob Marley. <laughs> but I want to speak to this one down here. So Which one? The, the one right here, it's called Auntie Abin of What You Cooking. <laughs> so, Auntie Abner, what you're cooking is actually one of my aunties lives up in New York. Okay. And uh, she loves to cook. So, when I was in Ghana, I took a picture of this young lady who was actually pounding fufu for the evening meal. And as you look closely, this is the mortar and the pestle. Mm -hmm. so they, they, that's what they do. They pound the fufu and they turn it. They pound the fufu and they turn it. And, you know, knowing my auntie, I had to name the piece after her. So, that's why it's called that. And you see the pots down there. So, it's basically, it speaks to you know, the everyday life of African people also, you know, right. not just the spiritual, but all around. Just everyday living. Mm -hmm. I mean, they do this in Nigeria, yeah, exactly. pounding yam, exactly. or whatever, cassava, it could mm -hmm. be anything. They do it all over, actually. Right. So. It's beautiful. This face, that's the, the young lady's face. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That is beautiful. So, I have to say, I love what I do. I, I mean, teach art, so. it's beautiful. Yeah. This colorful piece right here, so Asimwa Davis did this yeah, piece. Yeah, Asimwa Davis did this piece. Uh, she's a 
very, very talented artist, as you can see. Mm -hmm. And um, this piece right here is really captivating. It, I just get drawn in by the blue. Right. It's not much the face, but it's, it's the blue. The different tones of the blue draws you straight in. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, and it gives you something calm, you know, a serenity type feeling looking at the piece. So, yeah, she's a really dope artist, though. Yes. Mm -hmm. And who's this young man here? Uh, that's actually a young girl. Young so, girl. you know, in Africa, a lot of times the young girls, they actually keep their hair cut short. Right. So, the name of this piece is called Eyes. Because if you look at it, that's exactly what draws you in. Mm -hmm. And it gives it a, you know, a sense of you're not quite sure what's going on, but you feel something from it. And I leave the interpretation up to the viewer or the person who actually buys the art. You know, this, what, what do they see in her eyes? What's the texture? I think this. Yeah, so my, my major in, at Howard University was printmaking. Mm -hmm. So what I wanted to do, if you look at a lot of my pieces, they look like a negative positive space. And a lot of times people think they're prints, but actually they are not. These are all paintings, you know. So, but when I was in Howard and doing printmaking, you know, it was basically negative positive space when you did silk screen and linoleum cuts and things of that sort. But I wanted to get away from that because I enjoyed the actual painting and putting my energy into it. So. Mm -hmm. I decided let me take that technique and apply it to painting. So thus the background of this, this is actually a special kind of printmaking paper. Okay. And you know, I just incorporate all different types of mediums and art when, when I when I create my art. So beautiful. Yep. Wow. It gives the, the the painting a whole nother layer. Yeah, exactly. Well we wanna thank you, Zulu, for uh, taking this time to show us your art showcase. It's amazing work and Thank I you. encourage everyone to come down to ACAST at 3808 34th Street in my Rainer to come and take a look at the work and also come purchase some work. Yes please <laughs> and also my website is ZuluSoulArt.com and you also have another one ZuluSoulArt.net so Where they also can find pieces, yeah, you can and, find purchase. pieces and, and purchase also on the website. Excellent.